remember, this was only one. But isn't there other students in this class, like Claudia and Gabby, and who else? Aren't they other students? Claudia, Gabby, who? Susie. They could have won as well. That's another list of three that could be winners. So now, if I have to determine 40 C3, what does the combination formula tell me? What is N? And it's 40, is that right? So this is going to be 40 factorial divided by, what is R? What is R? 3 factorial. 3 factorial times, in parentheses, what's 40 minus 3? What you guys, what's 40 minus 3? What is it? 40 minus 3 is going to be what? This here is 37, is that true? Is that right? So what I get here is 40 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 37 factorial. I'm going to go back over here to my scratch work. Here we go. 40 factorial over 3 factorial times 37 factorial. You guys okay with this? Let's see what this is. Isn't 40 factorial 40 times 39 times 38 times 37 times 36 all the way down to 2 times 1? Isn't that the numerator? All right. What's, what, what's the next value here? What's 3 factorial? Isn't that what? 3 times 2 times 1 times what's 37 factorial by definition isn't it 37 times 36 times 35 all the way down to 2 times 1 isn't that right is that true okay do you guys remember how to simplify fractions remember the cancellation property do you guys remember that how does that work no all this math, all this math and beauty and math and what would you guys rather be doing than doing this? Sleeping? Watching TV? What do you watch? Novella? <laughs> You'd rather watch some novella than do this? You'd rather watch drama? <laughs> Cancel the 37. Cancel the 36. Cancel the 35. Oh, cancel what? All of it. Good. Take a look. What's happening now? You have 40, 39, and 38. 1, 2, and 3. 2 goes into 40 how many times? 20. 3 goes into 39 how many times? 13. So this is 20 times 13 times what number? I always circle what's left times 38. We didn't count the 38 out. Is that true? So what's 20 times 13 times 38? Hold on. 9,000 what? 9,880. So the point is if you had to do this by hand, what's going to happen is, even though there's these huge numbers, they all will cancel in some way. And you can actually deduce the answer. Somebody had a question. Where's the question at? Who had their hand up? Yeah, well, 3 went into uh, 39 13 times. 2 goes into 40 20 times. Nothing went into 38. So all those numbers are there. Yeah. 37? Oh, you see the bottom? You see the 37 factorial? 37 times 36? These cancel. In fact, that's going to happen. Get rid of all of that. That's nice. They all cancel. But the news is even better. Why is the news even better? Because some of your calculators 
don't you notice something called a combination and permutation key? Isn't there an N and a P or an, a C key and a P key? You know what yours, yours is at? And a P or B, probability. So this is a, was this a combination? It was, right? So I'm going to put 40 and first. Go to the combination. Combination, 3. Forty first. Where's the combination key? There. We, oh, there we go. Combination three. Oh, this one's a little more difficult. Yeah, it depends on your calculator. Um, if you have the tip, yours is here. Forty, but I think yours have to. You do some memory thing. Uh, yeah, I don't. This is a little different. I'm not sure. Um, if you have the, if you got the ones I asked you to get, right, Andre? You have a PRB key, I think. Hit 40. Hit 40, and then get the P, uh, get the combination key. I'm sorry. Hit the pr probability, and then you're going to see a combination there. NPR and then NCR. Scroll to the NCR. And once you do that, hit enter. And then hit a three. And there you go. There it is. <laughs> Wonderful. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. You guys, you guys have calculators you can use. You don't even have to do it by hand. I mean, I used to make students do this a long time ago. I used to make them do it by hand. They'd be like, oh, no calculators on the test. They'd be like, oh. This is a Cal State LA. I used to always do that to them. You're going to have to compute combinations on your own. <laughs> I mellowed out throughout the years, so. <laughs> That's what you can use. This is your combination. You can enter this in your calculator. Similarly, what about the permutation? 40 P3. What is that by definition? 40 P3 is 40 factorial over 40 minus 3 factorial. So. 40 factorial over, what's 40 minus 3? So this is over 37 factorial. So let's write this down. What is this? 40 times 38 times 39 times, sorry, 40 times what? 39 times 38 times 37 times 36 all the way down to 2 times 1. That's my numerator. Andrea, what's in the denominator? 37 factorial. What is 37 factorial? 37 times 36 times 35 all the way down to 2 times 1. So let's ask Andrea. Is it Andrea? What is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Adriana. Adriana. Let's ask you what's happening to these numbers. What's ha what happens to the 37? Cancel. Cancel. What about the 36? Cancel. 35? Cancel. 2? Cancel. What? What's left? 40 times 39 times 38. And what do you get as an answer? What do you get? 59,280? Ladies and gentlemen, 59,280. Different winning rosters are possible when you uh, care about the order. 